Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do a Wind Rider self-balancing electric unicycle review after one month of constant usage. Uh, basically, as you can see what I'm riding behind, it is the Wind Rider uh, from the Malaysian brand uh, which is generously uh, given by Mr. Cheng uh, to review this uh, Wind Rider. Uh, so after one month of constant usage, which is continuous usage uh, daily, um, there's some wear and tear, and uh, which is, can be easily solved by the, the warranty. Um, but overall, I feel that it is a very, very comfortable ride. The speed of the Wind Rider is fast enough for me, and it, it feels very comfortable to ride because you do not need to lean forward so much and that the pedal will not rise up so easily. So... For me, it's very comfortable. Uh, I can even slow down to a walking pace and uh, maintain a safe distance behind any pedestrian and, and ride it just as fast as they are walking. So it is very, very, very comfortable. Um, <clears throat> initially, when I ride, I, I feel a little bit unstable. Uh, the, the side of the legs are a little bit painful. Uh, but eventually, I'm get, getting used to it. I, I can actually have a very uh, safe gap in between the legs. And I don't even really touch the, the wheel itself. Um, it, it makes very comfortable riding. Uh, by putting the correct position on my legs and uh, a bit forward, I, I don't feel any pain other than numbness of the, the bottom of my soles. It's not that bad at all, actually. <laughs> uh, the, the pedal is so high that I can actually turn like 180 degrees without any, any problems. Uh, when I do salome, uh left and right, sometimes the, the pedal will go downwards uh, because of slow speed turning. It will actually uh, rise the pedals for you to actually turn. Very similar to um, Godway. Godway, when Godway is turning, uh, the pedals will actually rise a little bit so that you know you can actually balance very easily when you're doing turning, um, especially at slow speed. So I, I feel that it is a very comparable to Godway actually. Uh, the speed at 25 km per hour is actually just nice and the, the comfortable level of uh, going slow speed is also very very nice. Uh, it's not as stable, as smooth as air wheel, but you know, if you are used to it, you know, it's very, very, very comfortable. Okay, the downside of it is uh, the wear and tear. Uh, you know, one of the LED lights of the power indicator actually uh, spoiled. I cannot find out whether it's half full or uh, you know, going to run out of battery. So that I will get back to the manufacturer and, and see if it can be repaired. The power charger cap area. The, the rubbery cap, you can actually take out the cap and uh, you can actually uh, lose it very easily. So it's not very optimum. Uh, most of the uh, electric unicycle I've seen that the rubbery cap is actually attached to the, the, the port itself so that you will not get lost easily. So this I think they have to resolve uh, in the future. The padding at the side of the wind rider is a little bit loose. It's flappy right now because it's not stick on properly. But in, it is not really a problem to me. Uh, I do not really touch it that much. So I can easily double tape it or glue it myself, uh, you know, glue it back myself if I want to. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, you can install the trolley handlebar, but you can install the pull rod from the air wheel design. The pull rod is uh, purchased at Passion Gadgets. So it's very easy to push around when it's powered on uh, using this uh, pull rod instead of a trolley handlebar. So it, it is very, very comfortable. Uh, you don't need, do not need to actually carry it around anymore. Okay, another good thing about the Wind Rider is it comes with a very very small portable charger um, which is very very nice can you hear it it's not that loud compared to the air wheel charger which is uh, significantly louder so i can actually put it within my my bedroom while it's charging because it's uh, not that noisy our wind rider is definitely um I would say a relatively good price at five hundred eighty dollars Sing dollars. Uh, you know, you can actually order from this contact if you are interested. Right. So basically, that's it for this video, and I really hope you like this video. Of course, do comment in comment section below what you think about uh this electric unicycle. And well, basically, that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video, and have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.